This, this is, is the Paul Report, Report. with Kevin Bouquet and Isaiah Gardner on Entertainment, your, your field, field reporters, reporters Tony, Tony Fino and, and Jeff Savant, and, and your anchors, Amy Gennady and Tristan Allen. This is your Paul Happy Daylight Savings, O&J. Here with a reminder to wind your clocks back one hour on Saturday night. I'm Amy Gennady. And I'm Tristan Allen. This week's Paul Report is brought to you by the letter S. For spooky. Before we get to the Halloween-y stuff, you should all know that Jill Weston from the cross-country team is competing in states today at Hershey. Here's Jeff Savant with more information. Hello, O&J. I'm Jeff Savant here with Jill Weston for the cross-country team. Jill's the only person to place for states on the cross-country team. How did the team do in, do in districts? We ran really well. Um, the course at Lehigh is very fast, so there were a lot of personal records, and I think most of the team is very happy with the way they ran. And uh, how did you do and how did the team do overall? I placed 46 at districts and our team placed 17th. Okay, and how do you think you are going to do in states today? I'm hoping to run well. Um, the course is very different, so it's going to be a different type of race, but I'm going to try my best. Okay, thanks for coming out. Uh, good luck at states. This is Jeff Savant reporting for the Power Report. This Wednesday night, the O&J Roberts girls field hockey team faced off against Henderson in districts. Unfortunately, the girls lost 2-1. to one. The only goal for the girls was scored by senior Maddie Mullen. The National Honor Society is hosting another dinner and a show on Friday, November 22nd at 5 p.m. Guests will be treated to a dinner of chicken cordon bleu with trimmings and afterwards attend the opening performance of this year's fall play, Bull in a China Shop. One ticket is $18 and covers both the cost of the dinner and the show. These tickets will be sold during all lunch periods the week of November 11th. No tickets will be sold at the door. Come out for some great food and great acting. The Roberts' Education Association hosted elementary trick-or-treating this Wednesday with no acting necessary. High school teachers and students decorated their doors with Halloween-themed decorations. Five elementary schools participated and fun was had by all. Yeah, who doesn't love small children on a sugar rush? In lighter news, Owen J. Roberts alumni and international celebrity Daryl Hall of one of my personal favorite bands, Hall & Oates, is being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame this year. Hall & Oates were famous for blending soul and rock music into a one-of-a-kind style that was new for the time period. After all, everyone knows their hit song, You Make My Dreams Come True. Hoo, hoo, hoo. It just goes to show that it doesn't matter where you come from, you can always make it big so long as you wrote the song Maneater. Congrats, Hall & Oates. Speaking of talented musicians, Rachel Blemker qualified for All Nationals Honors Choir. She spent the first half of this week in Nashville, Tennessee performing. Rachel is ranked one of the top 670 choral, band, and orchestral musicians in the country. You go, girl. That's all we have for you today, Owen J. Only 364 days until next Halloween. Do you ever just look at yourself and think, wow, I'm beautiful?